Mount Elephant is a dormant volcano. With modern dating methods, it's thought to have erupted up to 500,000 years ago and located one kilometre from Derren Alum on the Hamilton Highway, Western Victoria. The mount is a conical breached scoria cone covering an area of 140 hectares and rising 240 metres above the plain. It's listed on the register of the National Estate. Known as the Swagman's Lighthouse since the early settler days, the mount can be seen from a long distance guiding travellers on their journey. As we enter the mount precinct, we wind our way along the track leading into the former ballast pit quarry area following the old rail line route. We pass through the attractive stone wall designed by Alastair Toon, built from stone from the ballast pit quarry, with a burnt railway sleeper surround to depict bushfires and the rail line that was built into the quarry to carry the rock ballast out to the road. In the early 1900s, the northern face was quarried for red black scoria, used to make many of the roads and railway tracks in the area. After about four years, it was found that the scoria was too light for the works, and the quarry was shifted to the western side, where the rock was stronger, and quarrying continued there for many years. All quarrying has now stopped. The mount was purchased in December 2000, having been in private ownership since European settlement. The communities of Derren Alum and Lismore, in partnership with Trust for Nature, raised the monies for the purchase. The price? $200,000. So strong was the feeling in the community to own the mount that $100,000 was raised in five months by donations, and Trust for Nature contributed the other $100,000. The community and Trust for Nature share a vision for Mount Elephant. It's directed towards restoration and protection of the mount and making it available to visitors. The aims are to protect the heritage and environment values of Mount Elephant, to develop Mount Elephant to its full potential for tourism and education, to develop and implement a management plan, and to develop and maintain the partnership with Trust for Nature and the wider community and all groups with shared aims. From the time the Mount came into community ownership, the management committee worked towards building a visitor centre, the centre, sited in the Ballast Pit Quarry, was opened on November the 6th, 2016 after extensive consultation and planning. Locally based architect Jacob Kelly designed the centre, which is off-grid and encompasses many environmental values using passive heating and cooling methods with rammed earth walls. There are two spaces for display and activities, leading out to large picture frame windows taking in the northern views as well as kitchen and bathroom facilities. The purpose of the centre is to provide a space where education programs and functions can be held and it's available for hire. Funding was obtained from the Karangamite Shire, Victorian State Government and the Jack and Millie Borbidge Fund. The Borbidge Fund was created by Jack Borbidge, a resident of Derren Alum and Lismore in his young days. He always appreciated the support he received from the community when he opened a butcher shop as a 16-year-old. And as he didn't have a family of his own, he bequeathed significant funds to build the centre. If they were here today, Jack and Millie would be very proud of the centre and the achievements of the community. Scoria cones are small volcanoes with relatively steep sides usually formed as a result of a single major episode of volcanic activity. Lava lakes often form in the centre of scoria cones. If the lava in such a lake breaches the side of the cone, the result is a breached scoria cone, such as Mount Elephant. There are approximately 200 eruption points in southwest Victoria. Walking tracks have been constructed around the site, and as we move through the centre and follow the track, we walk through the first tree plantings completed by the community. Two bushfires in 1944 and 1977 ravaged the area and destroyed the original vegetation. Then the mount was heavily grazed with rabbits and weeds taking over. Each year since community ownership 1,500 to 2,000 trees have been planted 
and we're now seeing the return of wildlife such as kangaroos, wallabies, many species of birds including wedge-tailed eagles and recently geckos have been sighted. Extensive weed and pest control is an ongoing project and has been very successful with reduction in rabbit numbers and weeds and improved pasture and vegetation. Following the track, we turn left up the road heading to the crater. This is the steepest part of the walk, but it's rewarding when we reach the top and look out over the surrounding plains. We can then continue onto the lookout to the east, where there's an information sign with an image of the Eugène von Gerard painting Lara Homestead. Von Gerard's painting has been very helpful in working out what type of vegetation was in the area in the late 1800s. We look out over Lake Ettrick, Tullyaruk, and the townships of Derrenalum and Lismore. We can then continue up to the summit, walk around the rim, and back down to the crater and car park. The complete circuit from car park to the summit and return takes approximately one and a half hours, and it's suitable for reasonably fit walkers.